Legend of Total War here with part 31 of my Total War Attila, uh, The Last Roman, Roman Expedition, Veni Vidi Vigi, Let's Play Campaign. Previously, we conquered Lamonum, killing a, about a half stack inside of it. And uh, they've used up pretty much all of their movements, so it's time for them to rest. Lost a few guys, but nothing severe. The Franks are pretty much on their last legs. It's just got a, just a clean up job now, basically. These guys over here, they've been avoiding me like the plague. Uh, these guys down there, have we moved them this turn? I think I have. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to keep the tax rate at high now, or else it's just not enough money coming in. Because we've got too many, we've got many armies. There's nine now, so... That's a minus 45% penalty to all the tax rate. Commander. Funny thing is though, in order to get Divine Victory, where is it? We need to maintain 240 units in total, which means that we'll have to have at least 12 armies. And that's just a huge amount of tax inefficiency. There's no way you'd be able to maintain that 240 units in total of professional units that, that have to be terrible units but once we've conquered the map then we can just tick off the list of these arbitrary things not, not having to worry about uh, you know getting into any fights anyway let's see what we can build okay so this can be upgraded consumes food it's not worth it not worth it okay we want to get What's it called? The officer's quarters, because we need research rate. We don't need it, but it would help. There's a few texts there I want to get. Most of the texts aren't that useful, though. Yeah, I can't do much else with it. So let's move on to the next turn. So we've definitely conquered more than half the map now. It's, it's about a, maybe a third or a quarter left to go. Okay, as long as they're sabotaging and not assassinating, then that's fine. We've had a few generals assassinated recently, mostly due to Berbers, I think. Good, that should be the end of the Bretons. It's good to just let the Eastern Empire just clean up all the all the dregs. We do all the hard lifting and then they finish them off. Because finishing them off is the most annoying thing, you just gotta keep chasing them all over the place. Uh, okay. Faction destroyed Bretons, good. Another faction we don't have to worry about. So how many are left? There's eight factions in total. So there's six enemy factions. But the Berbers are almost gone. So basically five people we have to destroy. Okay, this guy who was wounded has come back. Let's see if you can assassinate this guy here because he's really getting on my tits. They will trouble you no longer. Well, wounded's better than nothing, but I would have liked to have gotten rid of him for good. Because he sabotaged my... Oh, no, no, it's the other spot, sabotaged the army, it doesn't matter. Um, where are we going? Avarakum. And then there. Then we've got a backtrack, but that's okay. Stop, 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 stay there. Oh, crap. So these guys still need to recover a fair bit more. They do as well, but not quite as much. I think. It doesn't matter. So we'll take that next turn. 
help secure Gaul for the Empire. Then all that's left is Iberia and Corsica and Sardinia. They haven't taken this. Nor do I think that they're going to be capable of doing it. Over here, they're still starving. Hispalis continues to get stronger. Did they manage to sabotage us? No, they failed. Good. Alright, time to break this peace treaty with the uh, fucking Visigoths. What does Rome require of me? And smash them. We hunger for battle. Ready for battle. Okay, you need to make the attack because this is a region capital. A bit of treachery, huh? I don't give a shit. So we've gone to untrustworthy, but who cares? We're not making any trade agreements with anyone apart from any agreements we're making with the Eastern Empire, and they love us. Especially if we're handing over even more settlements by breaking the treaties. Ready for battle. You have further orders. There's nothing else to do this turn. Alright, let's get on with it. Oh look, apparently I've got no units. Fucking stupid graphical glitches. Just want to make sure. Problem is, the walls are going to make it take, you know, 10 minutes just to get in there to fight these idiots. I would just like to auto resolve it, but we can't do that, I know. So far, I think we've fought about bloody 80 battles, but we've won them all. Everyone has been fought manually. We're pretty close to getting uh, victory conditions. I really don't think I need any more than four armies out here fighting, which is what we've currently got. Oh, actually, we've got a fifth, but it's free. Although I'm concerned that by the time they get to the frontier, it's just it's not going to be free anymore. Most of the units are shit anyway. Tier one crap. Uh, just blow open this. Reinforcements enter the fray. It's not a well fortified city. This shouldn't be a problem. Okay, by the time these guys get here, it'll be bloody over. How far away are they? We outnumber the enemy. Actually, this could be good. Where's my cav? I might send the cavalry up through here to, to hit these uh, missile units because they'll block off one of these areas probably this one here enemy gates are obliterated. That's blocked off there what are these Germanic bows we'll just wait for the uh, the Tegmata cavalry to get into position basically just to, to intend to just charge straight up here they'll probably put some defenders here not much, though. I'm not expecting a huge degree of uh, resistance. I've actually been trying to think about what I'm going to do after this. Because this wasn't really an insane challenge. This was just, to, I guess, to, to see what it would be like to play as a Roman expedition after doing the... Uh... Oh, hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, cool. So obviously someone was at the door. This is a delivery. Alright, so... What was I saying? Completely throws off my train of thought. Likely it's a battle that doesn't really require much. Just charge straight in there. And you guys... Charge right in there. You can see that these guys are like sort of rushing towards here like, Oh fuck, we haven't defended this area at all. That's right, you haven't. But guess what? We're attacking from here as well, so you can only protect really one section, and even then you can't protect it very well. These fucking towers always do so much damage. Not really that concerned by it. 
The victory point will soon be under our control. There's no boiling oil here, right? I don't think I don't think I've ever seen boiling oil in this campaign. In this game at all. In fact, I don't think we need to worry about that. There's no units here. Let's just smash these guys in the back. It'll be over before the t countdown gets hit. Here. Oh yeah, you gotta love that. Smash them right in their anus. Problem is the cavalry's starting to take a bit of damage. It's not good, there's pikes right there. Really need to sort of be careful with them. But we smash those guys. Allowing these guys to break in. If we can just break off all these other motherfuckers there, these guys will disappear. Good news. The enemy is upon us. They're at the walls. What we need to do is just break off a few of these units. Where the hell is their general? Oh, he's there. He's already broken. Well, probably not a good idea to push through pikes, but... But they've, they've dropped their pikes anyway. That was over. I think that went actually quite well. Took a bit of damage here, but at least it was quick. You gotta love the look of the sight of uh, cavalry just charging into undefended infantry. Glorious slaughter. Who's that up against? Visigoths, right. Who knows, I'll probably beg for some more bloody peace treaties knowing these dumb fucks. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. Now, should we keep fighting the Visigoths, or should we head over here, which is actually closer, deal with the Swabians? I think it might actually be a better idea if we keep dealing with the Visigoths. It's not too far away. Okay, at least that one crossed. Won't take them long to recover. They'll be at full strength, I think, before we head over to, uh, that looks like Toletum. To Tolentum. Not Toletum. Whatever. They're just starving. Alright. Last thing to do, move that other army. And then check to see what we can build. What does Rome require of me? Oh, fuck. They can't go far. This needs to be decimated. That's severe problems. The Brave Heroes. We got a better name for them. Alright then, let's see what are we doing now. Let's build. Can't build anything. Let's move on to the next turn. I didn't want to sail them there because obviously we want them to keep encamping so they can generate that growth because once this um, once this free army I guess expires we want it to be able to at least pay for the general whilst we can afford buildings it needs some degree of growth
Decimation, I reckon they'll need to be decimated almost constantly. See, even when encamped, it's minus nine. It's gonna need that. I mean, that provides integrity as well. But that provides growth as well. Yeah, until this guy gets a level up. He must have some bad traits or something. Nope. I don't know. Is there anything we can do to increase his zeal? Nothing here is going to increase integrity. That's all free at the moment anyway. Um, keep him moving. He's going to have rivalry penalties with this guy, but it's not that important. It's going to cost a bit of food and whatnot. Keep decimating. Or else it's instant mutiny, pretty much. Uh, what could we research to increase the integrity? There's that. Mm -hmm. What am I researching again? This? Yeah, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, so they've decided to move on. Whatever. They'll probably just wander around for a while before the Eastern Empire decides to finish them off. Okay, looks like our armies over here were sabotaged. It's both of them. It's two Frankish spies here. I think we should try and get rid of one of them. Still, I'd rather them try and hinder me than try and assassinate. Okay, cool. So that's dealt with. Let's head over here. Well, he's not dead, but at least I'm not going to see him again for a while. This will be another easy battle. Just glad there's no walls. This is it tedious. So how many settlements do they have left? I think it's just a couple, like four. Yeah, four settlements. Let's see. It's one, two, three, four. I yeah. Those four. These guys have four as well. The Swabians, now that we've met them, have five. Roman Empire's got 78. Soon to be 79. Fuck this fucking fog. Fuck. Right, because we've got artillery, they'll likely charge at us. But there's not that many of them. I don't really care if they do it. But it'll be quick at least. Okay, this time put two on this side. Two on this side. Keep the general near them. Try and bomb the whole area if we can. Don't worry about this. It's not going to do anything. It's just that they're going to charge out at us. You can see that they're already about to do it. All right, let's use uh, flaming shot because if we can kill the general nice and early, that would be fantastic. He's just standing over here somewhere. Also, you guys off the off the firing at will, friendly fire idiots. Come on, give us one shot into them. It's pretty good. Can we get another one? Beware. Our hidden units oh, they're charging into us. Alright, let's get into it. I really hate the fucking banners in this. I know everyone does, but... Why did Creative Assembly insist on making inferior systems?
There's the motherfucking general. It's okay if we take a bit of damage. We'll recover. There's no resistance out here anyway. Okay, go back to using heavy shot. Fucking Germanic Raiders. Okay, let's see if these guys, if they can shoot without killing all my guys. Probably a little bit of friendly fire, but not, not too bad. Okay, you can now stop that. Okay, general over here, kill him. You guys, why are they going around this way? Doesn't really make much sense. I don't really care. Okay, there's a bunch of, bunch of guys over here. Go smash them. Tigmata can handle this. Alright, I bet you guys get them over here as well. Oh crap, I've got these two over here. They need to be coming out over here and fighting. No, 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 stop shooting, stop shooting. Uh, you're gonna shoot all my calf and my guys. Oh fuck, what happened here? Yeah, I knew it. My crossbows are the one that did all the damage to them. I said very very stupid friendly fire mechanics. Hang on, hang on. You guys turn around, shoot this. I don't want you fighting anymore. He's in okay shape. We need to get over there and help him sooner rather than later. The general is dead. Come on, you might want to shoot him now before they actually get over here. The general's dead. The battle's pretty much over. Good, nice quick battle. That's what I want. Would have been, would have gone down better if I had obviously pulled my forces back, waited for them to sort of come at me from a further distance. But I was more interested in getting this done in under four minutes. Because the casualties that I've taken don't matter because we'll recover before the next serious battle. If they even decide to have a serious battle. These guys out here aren't going to come at us. We hunger for battle. Too busy dicking around. Okay, next target's over here. Augusta Bona. Whatever. Oh, they're not close to each other. That doesn't matter. See, they're recovered before getting over here. Sixty-two percent. Yeah, take it. You need to level up. Hopefully, this army here wipes both of them out. Saves me having to do it. Good. Accomplish your mission. Get a level up. Hopefully. Did I don't move these guys yet. Yeah. I don't know if there's any point in upgrading them. I may need to disband them by the time they get there, but we'll see. How can I serve the people of Rome? These guys have already moved. Okay, so we go down to building stuff now. Looks like the economy has uh, greatly improved recently. We must have built a few things. Okay, if you can get some stuff that's going to help you. No, that's useless, but whatever. Alright, what can we build? So, grain silo to grand rate. Well, that's maxing out that level. It's going to provide a heap load of food. Not that we need any more. Cost of three integrity, though. It's a bit severe. I don't think it's a big deal. What does Rome require? Ordering a decimation is no big deal either. Okay, these guys here, they're losing integrity pretty damn, damn fast. So, we're going to need to order a decimation. It could be because I've put the butcher there. So, we'll probably need the officer's tent to sort of counteract that a little bit. I don't care. Still build the, the butcher. I want the food and the money.
All right, let's move it. I remember one of the issues that I had in my Hunnic campaign was I built all these buildings that were giving me money but costing integrity, but because I was at war with like 30 people, I had no integrity problems. But then during the end of the campaign, I started actually obviously reducing the amount of people I was at war with, and then suddenly I was having humongous integrity problems. I was just ordering decimation after decimation. But by that point, it didn't matter anyway. Nobody was going to fuck with me once the Sassanids were gone. Good, they smashed one of the armies. I just didn't finish it off. Still wars the Sardinians, they're just dicking around. Ah, oh, they've fucking taken that settlement. Probably should have defeated them. Berbers are back. I can't let the Berbers come back. We have to go back there and defeat them. How far can you travel? Not very far, because we crossed the river last turn. Not really concerned by them, but this is a good opportunity, I guess, to, to finish them off once and for all. Damn it, they're going to recover by the time we get there, too. That's a pain. Fucking Berbers. I was hope, hoping to be done with them. This goes to show you, probably should be thorough. Okay, there's a rebellion happening here, but a Varicum... Yeah, the garrison should be able to handle it. These guys out there will be fine. Oh good, I didn't think I was actually going to make it here. Then again, last turn they had, I think, minus 25% movement. Okay, once we deal with this, it's obviously a huge chunk of consolidated land without a frontier. The frontier becomes uh, much smaller after that, which is better for, for the Eastern Empire. Makes it easier for them to defend their lands. Significant force inside of here. But once again, I mean, look how much I recovered. Who cares? What are they going to do to me? We'll hand this over to the Eastern Empire and continue to rape these guys. I think we'll head to the Visigothic uh, territory that's close to the coast, though. Next. I'm actually quite annoyed that the uh, Eastern Empire did essentially nothing to prevent the uh, the Berbers from coming back. If it just wasn't convenient to go after them, they were just in inconvenient territories. But now they're right in front of me. Next turn, if they stay there, I'll be able to finish them off. We'll be fine, just with the one army. Okay, they can't come through that way. They essentially just blocked themselves off there. Maybe I should be bombarding this area here, but I know it's not going to be particularly accurate. Friendly banners. Our reinforcements arrive. Yeah, from all the way over there. I'll try and get the Tecmata cavalry over here, but the infantry is not going to make it to the battle. It's going to be over before then. You guys move up. Leave them on fire at will. Maybe see if they can do a bit of damage with it this time. We have sighted the enemy. Definitely want to get rid of these Germanic Raiders. Should be on flaming shot. We have gained oh, this the upper hand. Fucking field shit. Doesn't matter, they're just getting raped there. What a good lord! Ah, oh, crap. Hidden units, watch out! Double crap, motherfuckers. Stupid field. These guys here were being absolute idiots. They didn't even fire a single volley because they're fucking morons. Doesn't matter. 
It'll be ages before they get into the next fight. So. And they'll recover quickly. It's all good. Uh, shoot. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's see. Heavy shot. Okay, Kev, come around over here. Get rid of these archers. This fucking field here is really annoying. Alright, oh, forget about these guys. Over here. Bring them in. Uh, you three just stay out of it now. Take out their archers. What are you guys doing? Come over here. Come up here, smash them in the back. Good, they're broken. That's that's really fast. This guy's here's getting smashed. Try and push everyone in front of him. Get out of there. Stop shooting. Probably, oh man, the amount of friendly fire there. That's ridiculous. Fucking hell. Oh well, easily replaceable. Man, they just got smashed. Oh well, it's, it's bad, but you know, it's not the end of the world. It happens. This battle went really badly. However, luckily these guys get such a large break after this, because it's going to take us a few turns to get to the next area, that we'll fully recover before the next fight. And we're done here, right? Yep, good. It says decisive, but that was not good. Lost a thousand men on that. That was completely unnecessary. But it doesn't even matter. Like I said, in battles like this where it doesn't matter, there's no need to to be perfect on them. It's just a waste of time. I mean, we did that in 3 minutes 19 seconds. If I had fought that battle perfectly, it might have taken me 15 minutes. There's just no need for it. Doesn't look like I lost any battalions. So essentially we lost nothing then. You might think, oh, they lose experience. Ah, fuck, they lose experience all the time anyway. Alright, this whole area is cleared. Next step. Nemes. It's quite a distance away though. See, they recovered quickly enough. What was it? Three turns? Yeah, nothing. Get rid of this fucking prick. Utterly failed? Uh, of course. Don't know why I expected anything else. Get rid of this level 10 motherfucker if you can. 47%? Well, just just do your best. God, if you could actually kill him, that would be great. Alright, at least he's off the field for a few turns. Yeah, you gotta cross the river there. Gathering supplies. Alright, what do we build next? Let's have a look. Got plenty of cash coming in. I just wonder, what would it, the cash be if we went to the highest attack rate? Whoa, that's nearly twice as much. But it really significantly reduces integrity and growth. I don't think it's worth it. We don't need to have a huge treasury. We've built everything that we need. Then again, a higher treasury means we could have more soldiers. But it's just not necessary. Alright, everything's done. Let's move on to the next turn. Fucking hell, that battle there, I did more damage to myself than the enemy did. But he fucking threw an atom bottom bomb on my own men. Oh, of course they want a peace tree. I'm not even surprised by this. We do not go against his word. Yeah, well... I'll tell you what, if you can offer me... Maybe a bit more... Ah, oh, fuck you. Uh, 
I just want the money. I don't care about reputation, no. I don't think the Eastern Empire will betray me. After all I've done for them. Oh, right. The storm has oh, fuck you. No way in hell. You're, you're going straight to dead. Straight to hell. Fucking hate the Berbers. Don't allow any more eastern desert factions to survive. Yeah, I knew they'd fucking run away. They've got no interest in bloody saving themselves. Right. Now, I just realized that this army's out here. So we'll want to avoid it. Because we're at war with them, but they're not at war with the Eastern Empire. If I went to the Eastern Empire, and I said... I can't talk to them. It's fucked. There is no diplomacy in this. We'll have to go around the back alleys. Around this way. Massive integrity problems. Decimate. Okay, they know we're coming. That's why they bug it off. I am shadow. Fucking son of a bitch. These eastern factions are so annoying. I cannot do this. Where the hell did he go? Beginning my journey. Although... How the hell did he move so far? Unless he's up here. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Nope. Don't know where he's gone. Ah, oh, look at that. No need even for a fight. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. If I leave it, it's just... It, they're gonna retake it, though. I just don't want to have to deal with them. They're annoying. That spy there has been responsible for a number of my... people's deaths. Ready for battle! I'll just stay there. We'll see what happens with his spoilers. If they attack it and occupy it, they'll be stuck there. I don't know. I'm trying to leave a trap for them. It's not urgent, so I guess, doesn't, guess it doesn't matter. Alright, let's keep moving down to here. We've got a few turns before we actually get there, though. So we probably could afford to organize a peace treaty with the uh, Visigoths. Just for a few turns, get that money out of them. Journey completed. I am oh, sure for fuck's sake, we can't actually offer reason. anything. Damn, I should have should have counter offered. They'll probably offer it again though. We hunger for battle. All right, well, no battles to be had in this turn. We hunger for battle. Also curious, do we get another army after this? Yep. Cool. Alright, let's move on to the next turn, since there's nothing else to do. We probably could afford to bring the tax rate back down. Got heaps of cash. How the fuck did this guy recover in, like, one turn? Probably gonna assassinate my guy. Oh, he failed. Good. That's lucky. We really need to get rid of the Franks. As soon as we get rid of the Franks, as soon as all, all their agents are gone. Their agents are more deadly than their bloody armies. Which is annoying. Well, there for more this time. I'll just accept it. Good, I'm ranked number two now. It's not due to, I think, my strength increasing, but due to everyone else getting weaker. Except for, of course, Rome itself.
So what are they doing there? Are they going to take it or what? I don't care. Lango bars have showed up. Right. So, Lango bars are here. We start off at war with them. That's okay. All right. Um, they're probably going to cause a bit, bit of trouble over here, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. Well, maybe I should be. Maybe I should send Belisarius over here to deal with them. How many armies do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven armies. That's a lot. I mean, the garrisons in these places are pretty strong. I might just... Uh, just let them do their thing. And let them weaken themselves whilst we continue to conquer more down here. Let's secure Iberia and then we'll worry about Italy later. Once they've already been thinned out. This is clearly a concern. See, they managed to recover quite a bit. At Malacca. There's not much of a garrison there for some reason. What happened to that army? It seemed to disappear. Ready for battle. All right, fuck it. I'm sending this guy over here. And then we're going to go to Carthago Nova. We just got to get rid of these goddamn burpers or else they'll just, they'll never go away. They're annoying the f living shit out of me. Another turn without any battles, though. It's alright. Just. Uh, I want to avoid that. Prefer it if we went around the other way. Problem is, if you go around the other way, this. It doesn't help. It just take you even longer. Let's see, what's the distance travel travelable by them? Yeah. You're gonna have to go around this way. A pain in the ass, but oh well. There's no way these guys are gonna get to the frontier in time. Alright. So, they need to encamp. Ready for orders. Let's see what we can build. So there's a bit... Not much to do at the moment, just except moving on to new territories to take. Also, I wonder, are they at war with the Eastern Empire as well? Yeah. Okay, if they're only at war with me, it's no big deal. Just avoid them. Okay, now these guys can build up a little bit. Um, what do they need? I'd probably say they need this more. Let's get that growth going. Because we've got plenty of money. Might as well decimate them. Oh, I can't decimate it. Right, that's fine. Okay, these guys over here, they need to be decimated. And same with these guys. Decimate. I don't want any problems. Okay, agent actions. Let's have a look here. Okay, I want you to slow down that bastard. And you... Keep an eye on what's going on over here. Okay, the guy failed, whatever. You must have been deceived, but you can still assassinate this guy, hopefully. The funeral pile already burns. Ah, oh, goddammit. It's probably gonna end up dead now. Alright, well that's everything we can do. Everyone's encamped, let's move on to the next turn.
have simple needs. Fuck off, I got simple needs too. I'm gonna fuck you in the ass. Good, the Eastern Empire, they're besieging Tolosa. Save me the trouble if I happen to do it. It's going to be a pain in the ass watching these guys essentially take everything that I've bloody worked hard to to give to the Empire. What's this? I think they liberated someone. Oh, that's a pain in the ass when they do that. They've already managed to take like three, three or four settlements for themselves. They brought back the Ostrogoths. Okay, what happened here? Suspicious death, Nazis. Well, I don't think, um... What's-his-face is gonna care. Uh, just hi, whatever. Just another fucking... Another assassinated general. Doesn't matter. Pay him off. God damn... Asshole motherfucking Langobards. Alright, so we just finished researching that, I think, which gives us this. Which is not really important. What does that provide? It's a dead end. I don't need it. Ah, uh, there's for the Royal Barracks. No, I don't want to get that yet. That extra integrity looks good, but it's only plus one. It's no big deal. All right, I'm going to grab... Continue on this line. Good, you're still alive. Try and get rid of this one if you can. All right, so how many settlements were lost to the Langobards? One... Two, three. It's annoying to see the Ostrogoths back. And the Eastern Empire is not even going to lift a finger to bloody stop them. It's going to be entirely up to me to do something about it. Okay, we'll attack that. How's this video going for? It must be a while. Anyway, I'm going to fight this guy here. It should be pretty easy. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to need to send one army. Yeah, one army should be sufficient. Doesn't look like they've got many cavalry either. If we bring two, they'll just run away and I won't be able to catch them. In fact, they'll probably still run away anyway. Yeah. Well, I guess there's no need to bring the other one, but... Here we go. Let's finish off the uh, Berbers. I'd love to just press auto-resolve, but um, we'd probably get a better result out of it considering this, but we can handle it. Yeah, well, the Langobards, we'll get them eventually. It's just a case of if we can isolate one of their armies and kill it. The problem is when they're... When they're... La when they're uh, what's it called? They've got a lot of armies in a small amount of area. Very hard to defeat, but once they've spread out, they'll be piss easy to defeat. Because they'll have no infrastructure or anything like that. It'll take a long time to build all that stuff up. So until then, let's focus on the other enemies. What about the Lanko Bars later? Alright, they'll probably come at us. And that's fine. Our reinforcements. reinforcements. The oh, the Eastern Empire. Right. The enemy should know when Forgot the about that. Are hopeless. I should let them do as much damage as possible. I don't. I don't need to get involved. Because that's just garrison units there. Who cares? If they die, no big deal. There's no one else coming to threaten them. I'm not fast. If they do. I'm going to waste their ammunition, don't care. I wish I could tell them to hurry up. Bloody destroy yourselves at them. Right, 
You know what? I don't think I really want you guys here. Pull back. One of these. Okay, our, our guys here would easily be able to defeat them. They're not going to have any trouble taking them down. They've also got an excellent attack versus cavalry. Okay, if you can use your javelins, probably finish them off straight away. Not quite, but uh, certainly weakened them. See, they're gone. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. Right, get rid of these, Kev. You guys should have no trouble with it. See, they didn't even lose a single man on that. Okay, you can now stop. Let's charge in on them. There is no way in hell these guys are going to repel me. We don't need the Eastern Empire garrison. We can handle this. The enemy engages our ally. Do we help? Oh, our allies is going to shoot us. That's probably why we're losing men. Fucking idiots. Get out of there. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You can't detach. That would be terrible. Okay, I need you back over here to smash into this. Good, they're dead. Come over here. Good, they're gone. I, I don't, look at that. I reckon most of the damage was done by friendly fire. <coughs> Excuse me. That's it, smash into this prick. Yeah, we got this. And hopefully the whole army dies because it, it had already run away once. The enemy general is dead! Stop firing. Don't forget to run down all these guys. Well, that's all that's left. You shouldn't be running away easily. Yeah, I reckon these guys are more of a hindrance than a help. Victory. Should only take a second to run this most of these guys day. down. Focusing on getting rid of him, okay. Normally I'd pause it, but this is only going to take a second to finish these guys off. Let's stop dancing around and actually get the job done. That's enough. Hopefully that finishes them off. I can't see any of these units surviving that. I mean, that one's got a couple of men left, but... For them to only have 30 men left, there's no way they're going to survive. This has got to be the end of them. Good. No more Berbers. Hopefully that's the end of their faction. Is that all? Was it though? No, they're still around. They've got a must have a navy out there, but they're so weak they're not gonna do anything with it. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part thirty-two, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.